Right, let's see how we can implement a random forest classifier in, uh, in Python. Uh, make sure that you watch the video that I talk about the concepts of random forest. I will put the link in this video so you can click on it and watch it. Uh, and the data set that we're going to use is going to be the exact same data set on which we already trained and tested our decision tree. This is the uh, data set that is, uh, you know, we're going to use in order to predict whether a patient has heart disease or not. Again, uh, to see how we train a decision tree on this data set, make sure that you look at this video that I put the link up here. All right, the very first thing that you have to do when you want to train a random forest classifier is to import the ensemble, uh, import it from, uh, from uh, the uh, ensemble package in Scalar. So you just type in from scalearn.ensemble import random forest classy fire and then uh, design a basically a, a simpler way to to call it for yourself so you can call it forest and then uh, assign some features to this random forest classifier in this particular case let's design a random forest with only five trees in it so I go ahead and say, all right, uh, create an object, call it forest, which is basically a random forest classifier uh, with five, five trees. And five trees are, uh, we, you show it with uh, uh, the feature name uh, N underscore estimators. So I call it equal to five. And again, uh, in order to get the same result every time, you have to design a random state, uh, and I just put it equal to 1984. You can put it whatever you want, uh, it's just a number. And then you just fit it. And uh, what are we feeding it? Uh, we are feeding the same training and uh, uh, the same training data set. So x uh, underscore train and y underscore train these are the same data sets uh, that we previously created to basically fit our decision tree in the previous videos so we fit it like this and uh, just see let's see if it runs uh, okay let's see oh too much all right, so it, it runs right now. Now we have to just uh, look at the results. And I'm going to basically recycle the uh, lines of code that I already wrote for the decision tree, uh, like here, and copy it and bring it down here, basically uh, paste it here. So train data score was uh, for the uh, decision tree so i call it train data score rf standing for random forest uh, and an rf here as well and tree two was the name of the decision tree model that we had here we've named it forest so we're going to replace it with forest forest and uh, here it should be the training sorry training data score of the random forest and test data score of random forest. So this piece of code is basically going to uh, uh, print the uh, score of uh, the random forest in the training and testing data sets. Just before I run it, let's uh, remind ourselves that the decision tree gave us 0 0.86 and 0 0.73 uh, in the training and uh, testing data set in terms of its score. And let's see how our random forest does. So it gives us 0 0.96 and 0 0.83, you know, a significant improvement over a, a simple decision tree. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how to visualize the results from a random forest.